What's up, everybody? Brad with Delta Actual here, Tactos Tactical Airsoft, and welcome to Spec Ops. Spec Ops is going to be a series that's based on teaching tips and tricks that can be tactically applied to airsoft play. So if you're new to airsoft and you want to up your airsoft game, tactical movements that you can do in the airsoft field, stay tuned. This channel is just for you. Today, we're going to keep it short and simple. We're going to talk about weapon holds and how weapon holds apply to going through tight spaces and doors. I'm gonna teach you a few different uh, ways that you can do it. So if you're ready, let's get started. Today, we're going to be talking about weapon holds, compressing a weapon. Today, I am working with my SAI BLU gun, and I'm wearing my gunfighter, holes, uh, gunfighter belt setup. You may not be able to see it on camera, but when we pull out to uh, do some of the practicals, you'll see it then. I'll do a video on my setup if you guys would like. That way you can see about how to set up your belts as well. Okay, first and foremost, safety first. This weapon is clear. The magazine is unloaded, but it does have gas in it for effect. Clear and safe. Safety first when always training at home, at the airsoft field, real steel gun rules still apply. I'll put those on the screen in case you don't know what they are, and then we'll do a whole video going over the uh, five safety rules. All right, that being said, if you guys are already familiar with the safety rules, you've played a couple of games of airsoft and you wanna see how you can do things to reduce the amount you get hit, that's where tactics come involved. Tactics basically are methods of movement that you can learn to up the advantage that you have on the airsoft field either in the real world or on the airsoft field tactics always trumps the weapon platform that you're running let's keep that in mind so let me talk about a couple of things we're going to start with the pistol and then we'll move to the rifle later so when you come out of the holster you have a high presentation and you get on top of that platform as you punch out okay still clear and safe that's a combat hold, that's all well and good. But what happens if you need to go through a very tight space or you need to peek around the corner, that's on your weak side. I am right-handed. My draw is on my right side. I am right eye dominant, so all of that marries up. But what if I'm taking a left-handed corner? Some of you may be familiar with a little movie called John Wick, and you'll see the fabulous Keanu Reeves doing something like this. Holding it like this, coming around the corner. That is what we like to call center axis relock. And today, that's what we're gonna be talking about, how you can utilize center axis relock to your advantage on the airsoft field. Why is it so effective? And two, is it effective in airsoft? You see real steel shooters doing it, but is it effective in airsoft? I'm going to have to give you a resounding yes. Why? Because opposite from, we call this the weaver stance, the combat stance, your body is elongated. If you can see from the side, my arms are pointed all the way out. So it's projecting my frame all the way forward. It's a great, it's a great platform for getting accuracy and stability, but going through a door doesn't work so much. This is where center access relock comes in. It allows you to be a bit faster. It allows you to be a bit more compressed because you have your elbows close to your body. We're gonna drop the magazine, place it in the holster. Clear and safe. It allows you to be a bit more compressed. Now, it's a little odd at first if you're just, just now first trying this out. So this is why we're gonna practice it. We're gonna, I'm gonna take you through the steps of understanding how this hold can help you. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you're addressing angles of a doorway, narrow hallways, and etc. Standard. Center axis relock. Okay, you saw my body blade to the side. Still in a fighting stance, but now I have less of a target. So it makes you, it gives your opponent less of a target to hit. I am compressed with my elbows to my side and I'm aiming down my sights. I can see my front sight very clearly for you guys. My eyes and my front sight is lining up perfectly. Now I'm right eye dominant, so it kind of helps me to close one eye. I'm not, not supposed to. Don't smoke me in the comment section, it's okay. 
but if you need to do so bring it up and now you can see how fast by just turning my waist i can acquire i'll start off in weaver and then switch the center axis reload If you guys are worried about what if this blowback slide will hit me in the face, a good rule of thumb is to get in the center axis relock with your slide locked back. That way you can judge how much room you need to clear your face because nobody wants to get hit in the face with a slide. It's not fun. Next, once you're in center axis relock, we'll get a gas mag for effect. You can accurately take short and long distance shots from here, and it's still quite easy to shoot. Practice that, see how it can work for you, take the tips that we give you, and make them work for you and how your body works. You may be left-handed, you may be left-eye dominant, all of that is subjective. Take the technique and tailor make it to you. Thank you for watching today's video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more content. Let us know what kind of tips and tricks that you guys want to understand or know that you can employ on the airsoft field. And I will be sure to read those comments and address those issues in a later video. We're going to continue with the CQB series. Uh, that being said, that's all I have for you guys today. Just a few tips. Keeps this real short and sweet. I hope you learned something. I hope you take away something that you can use on the airsoft field. I'll see you on the next one. That's all I got for you guys.